All right, guys, so <clears throat> another video on how to revive a lithium ion battery. Uh, I know that there's like 3,200 of these on YouTube, but I thought I would make one that was just a little bit different that kind of talked about what was going on in the battery. So if you've got a Milwaukee, anything with these lithium ions, um, the batteries, lithium ion cells, you're looking at a cell, it's basically an 18650. If you're familiar with 18650s, uh, your battery voltage is like, the range on an 18650 is about 2.5 up to 4.2. 4. Or 4. Yeah, 4.2. 4.2 is fully charged. Um, and that'll give you, if you multiply the number of cells, you can see your voltage. Well, occasionally these things will get discharged enough that, so I'm on Milwaukee here. Obviously, you can check the battery um, fullness and get your bars. But sometimes you'll get a battery that'll start acting weird and it'll start blinking. And if you're watching these videos, you understand that you may understand. If you don't, I'll tell you real quick, you can go positive to positive, negative to negative on an 18 volt system. And you can try and basically jumpstart this, the, the bad battery. So we could go positive to positive, negative to negative here, let it sit for a little bit. And all you're doing is you're bringing the voltage up in these cells to a level that your charger will accept. Your smart charger isn't gonna allow you. There's a voltage cutoff on these. It's about 3.6 volts and it kind of varies with the chargers depending on where the smart charger wants to work, right? So what you've gotta do is you've gotta fool the charger into thinking that, um, or you've gotta get the voltage high enough. You're not really fooling it. Um, you're getting the voltage in your battery high enough that the charger will say, okay, I can charge this. Well, right now I've got this battery that is indicating that something's wrong with it. Um, and I don't know what's wrong with it. So this is where this video is a little bit different than the rest of them. Um, you need a safety torques to take these out, but you can take these cases apart and you can replace these batteries, the individual cells yourself. It's really not that hard. You can buy a cheap spot welder, but you could pull this out. Let's see if I can get it out here. There we go. <clears throat> and now you can look at your individual cells. And personally for me, before I go through a lot of hassle of trying to decide, do I want to save this battery? Is this battery good? Is this battery bad? You want to check the voltage. And you can check the voltage of each individual cell and see what your issue might be. If you've got, let's say we've got a dead cell, then you know you can try and jump these two together and it's never going to work. So these are uh, 4.2 volts, fully charged. So let's see what we get. Um, and you can worry about polarity or not. It doesn't really matter because you just need to get a voltage. Obviously, if you've got it backwards, you're going to get a negative. If the, your, your voltmeter will tell you that you've got it backwards. All right, so we're looking at 3.35. So that's low. 3.35, that's low. What we're looking for is hopefully that maybe all of these will be about 3.35 and we won't have a single cell. 3.36, we won't have a single cell. 3.36, that's um a dead cell. If they're all kind of discharged similarly, we can attempt to bring this back to life. And I know that the, so the low voltage cutoff for the most part on these batteries is about three and a half volts, um, 3.6. So my charger doesn't like this battery because it says, no, it's too discharged. And probably what I did was I ran this way down and then I just left it sitting. That's usually what you do. You want to store these charged or semi-charged. Um, halfway charged is kind of the best spot for a lithium battery, but you know, so let's see, we can check the, uh, I could do the math. We could check the voltage of the entire pack. So we're looking at 16.78 volts on an 18 volt battery. So this is obviously super discharged. So what we're going to do now is since all the cells in this pack are similar voltage, they're all right there together. I'm gonna to try what I need to do is, just like every other video on YouTube, I need to bring the voltage up in this battery pack. 
And one way you can do that, as we've already talked about, is jump room. Um, positive, positive, negative, negative. If you've got like uh, an old vintage dumb battery charger, not some modern Schumacher or some real smart charger, it's not gonna do it because it's not gonna like the voltage. Or if you've got like a remote control airplane or remote control car charger, you can kind of fool that charger into thinking that this is, like what I would do is I would hook this battery pack up as a nickel metal hydride and put some voltage in it. Now I don't suggest, you, you definitely don't walk away from that because that's a great way to burn down your house. Um, so don't even do that maybe. But what we're gonna do, we'll just jump this real quick. All right, so I went, um, we're going, uh, you wanna make sure you're oriented correctly. I just stuck some old razor blades in here and I'm gonna go positive to positive. Negative to negative, and now we're sharing voltage between the battery packs, and we should be able to see. I don't. It was sixteen point something, and see we're already up to seventeen point six, and you can see the voltage is climbing. So what these batteries are doing is essentially equalizing between the cells. Um, to bring up the voltage of the dead pack. Like we can check, what were these? These were 3.36, uh, I think. They were definitely below 3.6. So see these cells are already, this cell's 3.55. What's this cell? 3.56. So the voltage is climbing in all the cells. And you can see I've got the, the negative, the minus symbol, so I've got that backwards there, but that's not critical for what we're doing here. 3.56. And they're all, they should just all be steadily climbing. 5.756. Five, five, we can go back to the main voltage here, see what we're showing. 19.5. So all you have to do is just wait long enough. I don't know, about a minute. Get on there. Come on now. I'm wobbly. So 17.85. 8.9. Nine oh, so all you do is you let that voltage steadily increase and then you should eventually be able to plug this onto your charger and the charger will have enough the c the charger will see enough voltage that it'll say okay and i'm hoping on this one my battery status indicator light will stop having a bad mood and it'll start indicating a decent battery All right, so I'm just gonna let that sit for a little bit. All right, so our each individual cell is almost at 3.6, and a lot of these chargers, that's the voltage cutoff for the chargers, so they won't talk to you until you're at 3.6. So you're wanting to get each your individual cells as close or at 3.6 that you can because your charger isn't going to talk to it. So we're real close, almost there. So close. There's 18 volts in the pack. See if we got any 3.6 cells. Right there, 3.6. I'm gonna give it just a little bit longer and let that kind of just stabilize. And then we'll throw it on the charger and see if it'll charge. All right, so I'm gonna check it again. This pack's at 1803. 
1804. So we've got to be at 3.6 ish on all our cells. If you do the math, as long as the cells are fairly balanced and they were balanced earlier, 3.61. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take all this off. These may be warm. So just think about that. Still a battery. You got voltages moving around. So just think about what you're doing there. I'm going to set this aside. And uh, I'm gonna put it back just in the top half and I'm gonna go see if we can put this on the charger. All right, so I went, I grabbed the charger and let's see what we get here. And now we've got a battery that the charger is, is it, it's charging. And before, I should have taken a video, but before um, this battery pack I would get uh, it was so low voltage that I got two different error warnings. One, the first one it read was, um, I don't, honestly don't remember. One, it, I got the, the red, green, red, green, which says that the battery's dead, and I got, I think, the over temp. Um, just, to, just for curiosity's sake, let's check our... So see, now the light says that it's just discharged. It's on one bar. It doesn't have all four but it's also not blinking like the battery's a problem child. Plug it back in, solid red, so we're charging. So in theory, if we leave this on the charger, we should show that we've saved this battery. So the way you avoid this in the end, in closing of this video, and I'll leave this, you can see, it's not doing anything crazy, it's just charging. It's doing what it's supposed to do. So in closing, Store your batteries at a mid-charge, um, two bars. Don't leave them dead or they'll die. But if they do slowly die, you might be able to bring it back. All right then, best of luck.